Hi peeps, how are you doing folks? Always good to see you. Welcome to my channel. This video guide could be a little bit tricky, have to admit, because I will be removing the motherboard. The laptop I will be working on is an HP Pavilion 15, exact model listed in front of you. I will be removing quite a few components from the motherboard to be able to lift it from the casing. Hope this video instruction is beneficial to you and you have much more smoother experience. Let's jump straight into it, shall we? Like you see, only 5 visible screws and a little surprise later. May I have your attention please? One screw hiding under left and right rubber padding. Only a bit of sticky substance underneath, but it will come off eventually. Put it in the safe spot so it doesn't get dirty. Let me get these two out of the way. Nothing special about this screw size, really. Here comes the pain, folks. I have to pry open the back plate. It is so tight shut that I won't be using this soft piece of plastic. Have to use this metal tool and be extremely careful not to break something or scratch the plastic. Service manual told me to start from this corner. If there was an easier way to do this, I would tell you. Progress slowly and patiently and apply the right amount of force. First things first, let's get this battery disconnected and out of the way. Lift this upper part of the battery first. Let me press the power button a few times. I don't want any leftover electricity running through the components. So, in order to lift the motherboard, I have to remove the Wi-Fi Bluetooth module, remove both memory modules, M.2 SSD has to go away. The same goes for 2.5 inch SSD have to remove both of these fans also. I'm going to have so much fun disconnecting a whole bunch of connectors like this one. No screws and just two rubber brackets on each side of the 2.5 inch SSD. Not a coincidence that I have to remove this fan first. Just need to remember to reverse the procedure when assembling this back together again. Am I supposed to tell you a joke to entertain you a little so you don't fall asleep? Just don't make me sing to you, please. Mm -hmm. 
I will start lifting the motherboard from this side. Guess what? There's a hidden surprise waiting for me underneath the motherboard. Watch this, a hidden connector in my way. And finally, motherboard removed. Let me assemble everything back again. In order to fit the motherboard back into the casing, have to start at this corner. All the ports to the side should fit perfectly and with no pressure. Almost forgot this little guy here. Now the perfect timing to start reconnecting the connectors also. Time to bring back the components. This one's really bugging me, but hey, no pain, no gain. This is it folks, we done it. Hope you were able to achieve what you came here for. Please don't forget to like the video if you liked it. And be sure to subscribe for future video guides. Until then, to your success. There's a little dot in the rubber here, so that way you know how to put it back.